when you're making toys and rag dolls you need to be able to turn the limbs and the tails through quite swiftly and easily to create your padded um, arms and feet and I've got an easy method for you to actually turn them through but also to stuff them at the same time. If you're creating your own patterns, and I do have displayed um, patterns there, if you do make your own patterns like me, uh, which I like to do in my classes, what I tend to do is draw out the design of the size that I want and don't allow seam allowances. Because then what I do is cut the template out and then draw it onto my piece of fabric. So once you draw it onto your piece of fabric, very easily like this so following that line so you create your line and then what happens is you can just take that to your sewing machine and just sew along So you've not got to worry about making sure you're following a seam guide or anything. If you do do that and need some help with a seam guide, you can get hold of some magnets like these, which will help you. And I'll show you that in another video. So follow the sewing line that you've drawn. And then what you want to do is cut around it. So you can use a regular pair of scissors to cut around your shape or what I find easier for me, and that's because I'm used to it, is I'll get a rotary cutter and I'll trim close to the seam line as I can, but not too close, because if you do, do go too close, what you might do is end up um, bursting seams when you turn it through. So there you can see now what I've done here is I've drawn some um, clip lines here and those clip lines, what they do is when, I, when I've when i sewn that, if I try to stretch this foot, because he, ankles and heels obviously they, they can stretch, um, what you need to do is clip the curves. So, and the advantage, now I've done this in a brown colour, but if I'd done that in a natural colour, what you can do is you can see where your drawing line is and clip to that drawing line. Now you don't need to clip straight ends, the straight parts. You just want the curves to clip, um, to straighten up. So what happens is now I've clipped them, what happens is I can get a straight line. If it's not quite straight when you stretch it like that just add a few more clips to your sewing line so then stretch that out and you can make sure that you've clipped plenty and it's difficult to see it on this side but if I add a couple more clips on the curves there it makes it a bit easier and straightens out all right so that's as easy as that so that was getting your limbs and your tails and your bits and bobs sorted uh, into the shape that you want now to turn it and stuff it now well you can buy our tube turners you can create your own tube turner by picking up a little bit of piping um from the diy shop and um doweling which i just sharpened with a pencil uh, sharpener so what you do and it's really dead easy now i've cut this on a fold so i've got a fold here to cut but I didn't sew all the way across the top, which is the turning hole. You pop your tube in to your limb, and then what you would do is simply just push your fabric through and turn, and then you would just use your pointy side of the stick and smooth that out. And here's a tip. When you're smoothing out curves, draw the curve line with the pointy part of the stick. Do not poke. If you poke, you're going to poke a hole in there. Let's turn it back because I want to show you a trick. Okay, let's pull that all the way back. Now it's a little bit creased, but when we stuff it and pad it out, it will be um, fine. Okay, so what we want to do is pop our tube in. 
and we're going to just poke a little bit in and then what we do is grab some stuffing so grab a bit of stuffing pop it on the end there just hold it there and then start stuffing and then just add a bit of stuffing as you push your fabric through that's too much there okay. and just keep adding and that will help you get to the corners and to the fiddly bits and when, especially when you have a tiny um, creature that you're creating let's get that all the way through you can flip it through and push from the other way and there we go Use your pointy end of the stick and just smooth it out. Now, remember I said, draw the curves. If you want to create a bend, bendy arm, bendy tail, which I have here. So I've created, I've added a pipe cleaner to this so I can have uh, movable pieces, parts of my mouse. Let's put it back so it's not looking sore. Grab some garden wire and it's coated and that makes it um, safer to pop into your toys. Um, again, bear in mind though, if you do use it, it's not safe um, for little children who might uh, be too vigorous and snap the wire. Choose a length that matches your limb. Cut a bit longer than that. Don't use your best scissors or if it's better still if you do have something to cut with a wire cutter use that what you want to do again pop your pipe in there okay start poking through you could actually probably poke with the pipe cleaner or your wire pipe cleaners aren't as good they're not as bendy and you can get different thicknesses of this uh, garden wire and they're very inexpensive and just keep poking through so I just go to a local DIY shop and pick up pieces that you need you don't need to spend out too much money for these things and then just keep going until you're all the way through and then you can just add as you need to. And it makes it so much easier. I made a stag's head and added antlers. It was so tricky until I thought of this idea. So now I do this every time. It makes filling and stuffing so much easier. Now the pet cleaner's not bent there, so I'm going to bend it there to give you the shape of the foot. And there we go. And just keep adding stuffing to give you your bendy foot leg. There we go. And there's our leg. And we can just bend it there. And you've got yourself mouldable dolls. Now, if you're one of those people who struggles to follow lines smoothly and give yourself an accurate seam allowance, sewing things together it might be because you're new or you just don't know how to best achieve these results what you need is one of these seed magnets I'll show you in the next video how to use one to help you So that we can get our thumb out because really what we're looking for is that shape do the same with your other arm and then you've got your two arms ready and I could probably curve that one a little bit more with the pointy part of my stick and then if you're using a steam iron use a steam iron to help you get the shape a little bit better and there we go